Hi, welcome to your Illinois Softball Podcast. I'm Masaki Sugimoto with Daniel Dexter. We're here to recap the weekend series between Illinois and Nebraska at Eichelberger Field. So, Illinois, again, struggling against Big Ten opponents. They lost the series 1-2. and two. So, what really happened with the first game, the only victory? Uh, well, in the first game, they really got it going. Uh, they fell behind early, but uh, Nicole Evans was able to hit a home run in the second inning. Uh, to to tie the game, and then they went on to have two more four-run innings, which really powered them through, and they had a quite convincing 11-4 victory, which uh, Coach was rather happy with, with the way they were hitting. Yeah, they were they were hitting well. They were also riding on the momentum that the Nebraska pitchers in the third inning, they they would ju they would just walk players with bases loaded. They'd hit batters with the pitch, and they would just give away points. It was around seven and four, and then in the sixth inning, the same thing happened again, and they literally just gave them the other four runs they had, and the line I came out with an easy victory, and then Brandy Needham, she was switched out with Shalise, who when she started the next game, which the line I lost, she started having troubles with illegal pitches, and we talked to her about that. How did she feel? Well, uh, Shalise was upset with herself, about the illegal pitches. She was somewhat confused as to why they were called. Uh, she's never had an issue with that before, which w was kind of confusing to her. Uh, coach was say w praised her for the way she performed in the previous game, but said that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't something they were too worried about because she's just never had that kind of issue before. Um, I would say that the illegal pitch calls and the few errors that they had early on in the second game is what cost uh, Illinois in that second game of the doubleheader on Saturday. Yeah, it cost them, and one of the issues was with the umpire and just Shalise and Coach, there was no like good communication. It was just people being frustrated and frankly just sort of, not really yelling, but just kind of getting up front with one another with, you know, apparently just what each party was being rude to each other. And then I guess I honestly think that just mentally threw Shalise off because after that, her pitches started kind of going crazy. I mean, yeah. it was hard for it was hard for Mitchko. Frankly, she's a senior veteran, and she can pull all that off, but really difficult. And then they ended up dropping that game. And then the third game, the Sunday game, came around, and it was just complete domination by Nebraska in nearly every aspect of the game. So, how did you think that went? Um, not well, obviously. Brandy Needham, who's typically their ace, comes in in the second inning and just gave up eight runs. She just could not put away that last out. She gave up six, uh, six runs with two outs remaining, which was really devastating for her. Uh, coach eventually had to pull her uh, and br and uh, brought in Shalise, who was that's her third game that she had to pitch in this series. And unfortunately, she just could not bring it back. Like they were down too much, eight zero after the second inning, uh, and ended up being a slaughter, twelve to two, after the fifth. Yeah, and I think that game just kind of showed how like shallow the pitching depth is on this team, because the team seems to just live and die with Brandy, because she pitches most of the games, and when she starts doing poorly, because maybe because she's a freshman or I don't know. They have to bring in Shalish, they have to bring in Jay, and it, they just can never usually pick it up. It's, it, they never get the save or they never really help her out. It just rides on her, so that's a big problem with the team. So real quick, looking ahead, next weekend they travel to Wisconsin um, to play at their field. What do you think about that? Uh, well, hopefully uh, they come out with a better showing like they did in the first game, let the bats, you know, let the bats fly, and hopefully, hopefully with their hitting from Alex Booker and uh, Mitchko, who also had a good game, they can really make up for the pitching performances that they've had recently. Yeah, and this is going to be the first time in a few weeks, um, I believe, that they play an actual series against an unranked team. They've been just playing ranked opponents and all that lady, all that lately, and it'll just probably give them a good break from it all. Yeah. So that's all the time we have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much. That was your Illinois Softball Podcast with Masaki Sugimoto and Daniel Dexter. Thank you, and have a good night.